BYD sales could be about to absolutely explode. I mean, guys, they've just hit the big time. They have actually become a finalist in the top three best cars in the world this year. And I'm not talking about EVs. I'm just talking about cars. BYD have two different models that are in the top three. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Biking. It's great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, every year, globally, there is a contest, right? World Car of the Year. Whoever wins this gets a lot of credit. It often leads to a lot of free advertising, free, you know, getting your name out there. And truthfully, in Europe, most people don't know, they don't know who BYD are. That is about to change in a very big way. But here's what it's even cooler than anything to do with BYD. The finalists. There's three cars left that came from a list of more hundreds that were narrowed down to 20 something. It's now three. There's only three left in the race for winning World Car of the Year. Every single one of those three is an electric car. So you've got the Volvo EX30. That's in the top three. You've got Kia's EV9. That's also in the top three. That is a car I actually personally really like. And then you've got the BYD seal. That's it, that's the top three. BYD have what, a 33% chance they're gonna get World Car of the Year? This is kind of a European award. The awards are given out in Europe, but it's still a global award. And here's the thing, that's World Car of the Year. But if you look at World Electric Vehicle of the Year, you've got the BMW i5, the Kia EV9, and the Volvo EX30. For some bizarre reason, the BYD seal doesn't make World Electric Car of the Year, but it does make World Car of the Year Final Three. That's truly weird if you ask me. Okay, World Urban Car of the Year. Volvo EX30, the electric one. Lexus LBX, I don't think anyone's even heard of that. And the BYD Dolphin. So now you've got two cars from BYD. BYD have ranked in the top three for World Urban Car of the Year, and they've in the top three for World Car of the Year. So there's a pretty good chance BYD will come away with at least one victory in this list here. Looking at the sports car list is actually also really quite interesting. The top three sports cars, you've got the Hyundai Ioniq 5N. And then you've got another electric car, the BMW XM. It's a massive electric SUV. In my opinion, it's staggeringly ugly. Um, a lot of people think it looks terrible. But anyway, the BMW XM, that's in the top three for World Electric Car of the Year. That's followed by the BMW M2. And the BMW M2 is pretty much the only combustion engine vehicle in any of these lists. It's all, it's all EVs. Big change going on in the world this year, right? You've got a Chinese car manufacturer for the first time in history. That's a top three finalist for World Car of the Year. Um, and then... The World Car of the Year, the top three finalists are all fully electric. Everything's changing incredibly quickly in a really good way. Thanks for watching.